players joining us from left to right, uh, linebacker Cody Ippolito, uh, defensive lineman Jack Banda, wide receiver Sean Brown, and quarterback Brandon Dawkins. I'm going to address your questions to the guys. Brandon, what happened on the last play? Um, to be honest, I, I, I don't exactly know where or what the snap was. I don't know if I could have gotten it. I just know I, I should have made a play on uh, getting the ball. Um, I just, uh, the ball was on the ground, try to pick it up and make a play with it. And then that was kind of, it's kind of like they going through my head, trying to make a play, last chance. Questions? Um, not a lot of people gave you guys a chance in this game, yet you were right there. I mean, you had an you know, opportunity to win. What do you, how do you feel about, for anybody, how do you feel about the performance of the team tonight? I feel like it's just kind of a testament to our team. Um, over, ever since I've gotten here, we've always been kind of looked down upon. Um, I just feel like this is kind of a kind of a good statement. I mean, obviously we want to go out with a win, but um, to go against the number eight or number nine, whatever team they were in the nation, and uh, put up a fight like that, I'm really proud of the guys. Sean, can you kind of take us through that last catch that you had, the jump catch where you were scrambling? <clears throat> well, um, basically, it was actually for the slot at the beginning, but. Um, I don't know what happened. I was running my route, and Brandon rolled out, so it just turned into scramble rules. And basically, he seen me. I seen him. I threw my hand up, and then it was just a trust factor after that. And then once he threw it up, I just went up and got got higher than um, the de defensive back. Jack, you had a good sack and a couple good plays, but it seemed like in the opener against BYU tonight, you guys couldn't get a key stop. I do feel uh, responsible. You know, we play as a unit and we have to lean on each other at some points. But uh, I feel like we did have a few key key stops, and our secondary was playing well and let me get those sacks. You know, those are coverage sacks. So I feel like uh, we came together at certain points, but we could have done better. Cody, did you guys reach a point near the end of the game where it just felt a little worn down because the watch from the side at all? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, our conditioning, we, we, we condition probably more than anyone in the pack. Uh, I think we can keep up with anyone in the pack. I think we can run people into the ground. I think we can be more conditioned than the other team. So, no, not really. Just just came down to who was going to make the, the last play. Can you talk about the luck you guys have had with injuries, all the bad luck, and uh, just the injuries now with the, your running back going out for a while, probably? I didn't know you were talking to me. Can you repeat that, my fault? Just your thoughts on the injuries, on the luck you guys have had, the bad luck. Um, I mean, I, obviously, uh, we hate to see a guy go down, but, um, you know, you don't want to look at it as bad luck either. You know, kind of think of it as the next man up, um, whoever it may be. Um, it's just it's their opportunity. Um, you know, I feel, like, I feel like everybody that came in, you know, TJ and Zach Green, um, they, did, they, they did a good job. Um, Lyon did a great job tonight. Um, receivers did a great job catching the ball. Um, just a few things I wish I could have gotten back on some plays, a couple of misreads and things like that. Um, could have could have definitely changed this game. How, wind, how winded were you, if at all, after the 79 yard touchdown? That was 79 yards. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, I mean, uh, like Cody said, you know, um, we're we're really well conditioned, and um, he, I know I've taken it upon myself, uh, especially after grambling. I know I was I was really winded during that grambling game, but. Um, every single day after practice, I stayed extra kind of 10, 15 minutes, and uh, on Sundays even with the strength coaches and just been running, getting some extra conditioning. So um, obviously, I mean, I'm a little tired, but I mean, I wouldn't call it winded. So um, I, I give credit to the uh, strength and conditioning coaches for make, making sure I'm uh, getting my conditioning in when I need it. Cody, you guys dropped eight a lot of tonight. Was that something that was flowing in the game, or was that something you worked on during the week? Uh, we worked on it a lot of. A lot of teams think that we're going to blitz a lot, so we just want to show them a different look. It looked like kind of a similar play, the, the long run that um, Coleman had to touch down and then the first run in, in overtime. Were they similar? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think they were both a power. Um, we had two different calls on, so it's two different people that are supposed to make the play. Was there some confusion before the touchdown in overtime? It seemed like guys were kind of running around and trying to figure out where to go. Uh, a little bit. Um, we're supposed to have a field set, and we just got that late, and then uh, we just played, played whatever we, we had to play. 
Brandon, what was the thought process uh, on that fourth and two? Did, you, did Rich Rod ask you or give you any feedback on what he wanted to do? Was there any consideration to kicking the field goal there? Are you talking about like the first or second quarter, the early one? The early, um, I mean, that's up to him. I have, I have really little say when it comes to what we're going to do. Um, he wanted to keep the offense on the field, and um, I don't blame him for it. I mean, uh, at the end of the day, I'd rather have the ball in my hands, you know, trying to put points on the board than anything. But um, he trusted us enough to go for it, and um, they gave us a certain look. I should, I should have looked to check out of the play, but um, I tried to just hurry up and get the uh, tempo going to try and tempo him into a you know, mistake. But uh, they ended up getting the best of it and got a stop on that. But um, can't credit anything to you know, one play. You just said you obviously don't have a say in what decisions are made, but would you have liked to have gone for two after scoring at the end? Um, I mean, it's, that, that's up to the coach. You know, I mean, I, if he trusts me enough to go out there and make a play, uh, I, I definitely am confident enough to go out there and, and you know, give him the best I got. But, um, you know, it's just you got to just kind of go with, go with what you get. And uh, I trust Rich Rod and uh, everybody upstairs that are calling the plays and everything uh, enough to, you know, put us in the best play we can run. One last question for the guys. Okay. Thank you, everyone.